Hello guys, welcome to Learn City. I am Austin, your literature in English tutor. On today's session, I'll be taking us through introduction to literature. Are you excited already? Let's go along. At the end of this lesson, we are going to look at the learning objective that will help us evaluate if you've truly got knowledge for this lesson. You should be able to define literature and give examples of literature. You should be able to state five characteristics of literature. You should be able to mention five functions of literature as well as explain reasons for studying literature. What is literature? Now, so many definitions have been given concerning literature. To some persons, it is any collection of written works of art. That means the Bible could be regarded as a literature. The magazines, newspapers, textbooks, theses on various topics could be regarded as literature. But the more distinct, prominent definition of literature is that it is an imaginative work of art that mirrors the society. It is any work of art that mirrors the society because literature in itself is live. Also, literature can be defined as a discipline in an institution of learning. In secondary schools and even primary schools, literature in English is a subject that is taught to students for them to understand different happenings in the society through reading of books. In the university, there are courses also that talks about greater analysis or criticism relating to literature and literary texts. Literature can also be defined as any printed or unprinted material that instructs, informs, educates, or entertains people. That means whatever material, printed or unprinted, that instructs, informs, educates, or entertains people is regarded as a literature. For instance, the broadcasts in radio station could be regarded as literature because they mirror the society. Literature also is any subject that mirrors the tradition and custom of a society. Usually there are rituals done in a society. The marriage and initiation ceremonies in a society could be written by a creative writer and be understood by someone that is not in that particular society. So if we go on and on, there are diverse definitions of literature, but then let's not forget that it is any imaginative or creative work of art that mirrors the society. Literature is also the caricature of human society as it shows human and life experiences. Now we have to take note of some key words when it comes to literature. Let us remember then that a literature writer is called a literateur. One who writes any work of literature is a literateur. Now if we go through the genres of literature, we have poetry, drama, and prose. Can you say that again? Poetry, drama, and prose. One who writes a poetry is a poet. A person that writes a drama or play is known as a playwright or a dramatist. Why one who writes a prose is known as either an author, a prosaist, or a prose man. He could also be regarded as a novelist if he writes a novel. A group of people who knows a lot about literature is called literati. 
However, an expert in the field of literature is known as a literatus. After knowing the definition of literature, I think it is high time we noted the characteristics or features of literature. Now, during the definition of literature, I gave us some important key term that it is what? Imaginative. And it mirrors the society. Therefore, we are going to look at the characteristics of literature. First, it mirrors the tradition of a society. If you have ever read any book that talks about the particular culture of the society, that in itself is literature because it gives you different issues, different socio-economical issues in the society. Two, literature exposes us to real life events, themes which could cut across cultural and societal background. In literature, there are various themes that pervade a particular book. These themes are realistic as they are seen in the society. So it is with an appreciation of literature that we get to read this and understand it. Three, literature presents accounts of human experiences. There are diverse books we read about slavery, colonialism, poverty. Literature in itself shows us human experiences. Four, literature shows the history of a particular group of people or sects. In order for us to understand our history, we need to go back to literature, books written by scholars to understand different issues that pervade our society in the past and the present. What are the functions of literature? One, it educates. So many times we read literature texts and then we get knowledge about different issues. For instance, the case of the apartheid policy in South Africa, we get to be educated about this even though we were not born during the time of South African apartheid. Two, literature entertains. We've watched so many plays, so many minds, poems that entertains us. It is with the beauty of literature that we get entertained through these various means. Three, literature informs us. Information, they say, is key to life. So in order for us to be informed, we have to read books. Books concerning our history and themes that pervade our society. So it is with the help of literature or literary texts that we get to understand all this history in our society. Four, literature is therapeutic. Have you ever read any book and then you feel calm after reading it? Or you've watched a play that makes you purge out your emotion? It is with the help of literature that gives it therapeutic function. Five, Literature teaches us the customs and traditions of our society and other societies. I could sit in my parlor and then read about a text in China and understand the Chinese culture of how they eat, greet, and their lifestyle too. So literature helps us to get informed about the cultures, traditions, customs, norms of any society. Six, literature is didactic. It teaches us moral lesson. Do you remember the story about the shepherd boy who called wolf, wolf? And then at the end, his sheep got eaten by wolves. All this tells us about a particular moral lesson that we should not be 
corny. So literature, when we read books, it helps us to understand various virtues and vices too. So for the virtues, we are to keep. And then for the vices, we make do away with. Seven, literature mirrors the society. A function of literature is that it gives us a clearer pictorial representation of our society. Have you ever read a book or watched a movie or listened to a poem that talks about the African society, the beauty of the African society? Literature does that. Why do we study literature? Why do you study literature? Why are you studying literature? Do you study literature because of its richness in creativity? Let's go on. Now, these are the reasons why we study literature in English. First, it helps to increase our vocabulary. There's a richness of words when we listen to the lines in poetry. This helps us to understand various words. And the writer's choice of words, that is the diction, helps to increase our vocabulary. So if you read good books, you're going to speak well. Secondly, literature helps us learn about the society. Now, I studied literature because it helps me to understand the society. And one who understands the society will not be caught unaware. Now, do you want to understand the culture and tradition of the society? You should read books that pertain to the society. Third, literature helps develop our creativity and imagination. Have you ever thought of writing have you ever thought of reading a particular text and then after reading it you are filled with imagination that's one reason you should study literature it helps fuse our imagination and creativity especially after reading fantastical novels or things that pertains to unrealism. Now, literature helps us to be creative. Creative in that we get to learn new words, we get to know different things in the society, and then it helps us to be creative in how we relate to the society. Fourth, it helps us to evaluate arts, especially in written and oral form. Literature is studied because it is art in itself. So because it is art, studying literature, reading good books, help us to evaluate these books. Literature makes us reflective of our emotional states. Remember, it is therapeutic. And because it is therapeutic, even when we are sad and we watch a play or listen to a particular lyrical poem or read a book, it helps us to reflect on the emotional state we are in. So when you get depressed, try reading a particular book, especially one that is filled with humor to make you laugh. Literature also helps us to travel to other regions, countries, or continents. Read it, we read so many books, and then we get to understand the cultures and traditions of different people in the world. Literature helps us to understand these. I believe we understood today's lesson. If you have more questions, please reach out to us. Thank you.